the vast grasslands of Rajasthan's Thar Desert are one of India's most valuable ecosystems, among which lives a critically endangered bird, locally known as the Kudavan. The great Indian bustard, royalty of grasslands and scrublands, it is one of the heaviest flying birds on earth. The state bird of Rajasthan, it lost out to the peacock to become the national bird due to the potentially controversial pronunciation of its name. These ground-dwelling birds prefer flat, open, undisturbed landscapes with minimal visual obstruction. Grasslands are often considered wastelands and replaced by agricultural fields, pastures and industries. Bustards are ground nesting birds and are severely affected by disturbances such as livestock overgrazing and free ranging dogs. Increasing human encroachment is a constant threat to their survival. New wind turbines bring with them overhead power transmission lines that crisscross their habitat. These low-flying birds have poor eyesight and their field of vision does not allow them to see what is directly in front of them while they're flying. Taking these power lines underground is the need of the hour. It was in 2019, uh, just before the pandemic hit. So I had an opportunity to go to Rajasthan to try and film Great Indian Bustards. And uh, it was for an assignment for Round Glass Sustain. I was uh, on a mission to try and document Great Indian Bustards in the wild. So I was in Rajasthan for about 10 to 12 days and uh, I had to try and see them during that period of time. And uh, fortunately I could get in touch with uh, a wonderful naturalist in the area, Radesham Bishnavi, who also does a lot of conservation work in, in the area, trying to you know rescue animals and, and talk to locals and interact with them to kind of build awareness in the area and uh, so I was I was going around with him trying to find uh, waiting in Bustards and uh, he became one of my primary resource person in that area to try and see them because he has a, he had an he had an immense knowledge about uh, great Indian Bustards and how to find them where to find them and where especially where to look for them because if you really don't know where to look for them you you just cannot see them because there are so very few left in the wild. After failing a couple of days initially, we were uh, uh, in a place near Pokhran trying to see them in the wild. And uh, yeah, we did manage to see them finally. It was it was a great moment for uh, both of us. Even though uh, it was not his first sighting, he was equally excited as, as, as much as me and uh, uh, to see Great Indian Bustards right there in front of our eyes. Uh, roaming freely in the wild.